Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters. Welcome to King Said So. I am your host, Kahiso Shongwane. Mr. King 053, easy Imali, ending in ending. So we are back at it again. And um, bear with me, Africans, as I run you through my thought process. You guys know that this channel is a building block to what I want to call the, the generation that's going to have a serious impact on building the one Africa, one land, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one language, and one Africa, one um, institutions. Now, one of those institutions that God has placed in my heart is to build a Pan-African school. The Pan-African school, the reason why we want to build it is because we want to decode this European education that is being fed forced through our children's down our uh, children's throat and that was forced through us that is not necessarily good for us as africans most of us can agree that some of the things that we learned at school did not benefit us post the school years some of the history that we learned did not actually educate us about what is happening in africa some of the criteria that we learned did not prepare us necessary for the job uh, environment, did not prepare us to be our own bosses, but it prepared us to go and work on a factory line, to sit behind that desk and make sure that you follow the rules so that you don't disturb the colonization system that has been put in Africa. Now that is going to come to an end with this pan african school the first south african pan african school will be opened very soon i said give me five years in the beginning of the year when i when i told you guys about this dream of building the school i said give me five years in five years time we're going to start we're going to start discussing the, the issue. We're going to start allocating the land. We're going to start uh, assembling the team that is going to help me to build this school. As I was sitting, um, reminiscing on what um, the school is going to be like because we're going to destroy the, 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 the society norms that has been put to us with the desk and everything, it's going to be totally different in this school. It's going to be totally different from the school set of sitting in desk wearing a, a certain uniform. We're going to brainwash our children to a level of excellence that we have never seen before. We're going to make sure that the next generation is well equipped to better fight the one Africa, one land, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army war. Because we will be the only the seed. Some of us, unfortunately, if some of the presidents in our in our in our land does not change in our African land, if we don't get more president like the general of Mali, if we don't get the, the, uh, the general of Mali who came in and removed French as one of the official languages and made the, the indigenous languages uh, the official languages of that country. The same happened in, in Burkina Faso with the general Ibrahim Torre who took over uh, in just two years. This man has managed to take Burkina Faso to heights that they have never seen. He is living on the Thomas Sankara dream in the flesh. We call him the reincarnation of Thomas Sankara. The same thing happened in Niger. And the same thing is potentially going to happen in South Africa should a person like Julius Malema become president of our country. We need to build a school. I'm speaking to my generation. Those born in the in the late 70s, the 80s, and the early 90s. 
we need to have a political mandate, a political assignment that we're going to leave behind. We cannot be the generation of dancing on Twitter. We cannot be the generation that drinks alcohol. We cannot be at the generation of crazy fashion that is not going to take our African people anywhere. I'm not saying all of those things are wrong, but too much indulging in alcohol and partying all night, all weekend, throughout the whole year is taking us back as Africans. I have decided that, listen, I need a team to build a school with me. It's a dream at first, but it is a real, real, realistic dream in South Africa, our land. So I said, give me five years, we're going to build this, 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 this school. We're going to make sure that we get the right people in place. We're going to make sure that we familiarize ourselves with the laws of education in South Africa. Make sure that we familiarize ourselves if we're going to go mainstream or we're going to go completely off the rails. Completely off the rails is what we need as a pan-African school. So I'm no longer going to push this thing five years ahead. I am saying March 2020, five we're going to have our first meeting with everyone that is going to raise their hands and say king i want to play a part in building this school with you it is not for me it is for our children who are coming after us and it is for that question that they will ask us if we don't build the school our children's children will ask us what did the generation of the 80s and 90s do that was politically and that was um, uh, African agenda wise that boosted their lives or better the lives of those that come after them. We can name so many things that the, the Nelson Mandela's generation did for us to be where we are, but being where we are is not enough. We still have a long way to go. They got us the, they gave us the first step. 1994 was the first step of the block. You know, we got off the line. Now it's time to run the good race of bringing Africa to its former glory. Its former glory, what do we mean about that? We mean if you go to any continent on the world, whether it's Asia, whether you are in Europe, wherever you are, you look at the footprint of that 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 uh, country, whatever country. You can go to Russia, you can go to China, you can go to Japan, you can go wherever you want to go. You will find that black people were the rulers of that country long ago. And we ask ourselves, what happened that we relinquished so much power and allow our colonizers to take away everything from us, our spirituality, our our traditional designs, our, our, our religion, our, everything they took from us, our minerals. They took our ancestors. They took our surnames. They took everything from us as Africans. We need to be angry for this. But after being angry, we need to stand up and say we are going to be the generation that is going to enforce forceful change that is going to ripple throughout the whole of Africa and schools like this will be built. But we have to start, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody is going to save us but us. By Africans, for Africans, through Africans. We're not taking any funding from people who are not Africans. I'm sorry. It's not, a, it's not a discrimination thing. It's putting ourselves first. Africans, let's put ourselves first. Our generation is losing its heritage year by year. And me and you are doing nothing about it. I want you to spread this message. Spread this message and tell the people that we're going to have a first meeting. Those who want to to speak to me about this dream, my, my email is here. My email is here. You can contact me on my email because we need to start. I might just even change my mind and say, let's meet this year. I might say, let's meet, let's have a meeting this year. 
whether that meeting is on Zoom or we meet somewhere in a community hall, which will be better. Just choose a community hall somewhere and go and meet there. Some of you have got money to say, King, come, let me host you in my big house. Let me come and host you in my farm. King, come with your people. Let me, let me book this community hall for you. Let me do this. Some of you have got those capabilities. We need to hold hands so that we can build this school for the coming generation. It's not for me and you. It's not for me and you. The previous generation died fighting for the liberation of, of our people. And we are enjoying the fruits of democracy because of them. But what, which fruits is the next generation going to in, enjoy because of us? That's the question that keeps me awake every night. What type of South Africa, what type of Africa am I building for my children? That is a question that must bother you because it's not about politics. It's not about religion. It's about us Africans progressing in life. And the only way we're going to progress is by cutting off these chains that were put by, uh, by our colonizers on us. But most of important is the mental chains that some of you are listening to this and you think it's not possible. It's those mental blockages that we need to take out because it's, that's the same blockages that you want to lose weight, but you can't. You don't want to start. You want to study something, you, you can't. You want to run a business, but you can't. There's so many things that you want to do, but the mental blockages are there. So when we come with dreams like building a school, which is not actually a big dream, if you think about it, is the work that we're going to do in the school. Building the structure itself is not a big thing. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Finances can do that, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to put, we're going to, I'm going to slowly assemble a team together. I'm, going, I'm not going to have a lot of people to speak to. I'm only going to have five people. I'm, not, I'm, I'm only going to have five people that I'm going to truly work with. Some of you do not feel um, left out. Some of you are there to help with the physical building, the painting, so that you can have your own contribution also. Some of you are going to um, be our financial donors. Some of you are going to be our prayer warriors. Some of, some of you are going to do some, you know, you, we trade in different trades. So you're going to have a space where you can input. But the main team is going to consist of six people, myself and five other people. Five other people. It cannot be more than that cannot be more than that there will be too many uh, opinions in the table and i'm not there for opinions i am there to save africa from its colonizers save this message save this message share this message put your thoughts on the comment section send me an email if you want to be part of the team and i will obviously uh, scan most of you because some of you want to be pan-Africanist but you hate your fellow African brothers. I don't play like that. You have to love Africa in its entirety. In its entirety. Especially, particularly, black Africans. I'm going to build this school. We are going to build this school. We are going to help each other to build this school for the coming generation. I don't even want to... I I, I, there is nothing that is going to stop us from building this school should we unite. Let's show unity. Let's, show, let's do something. Let's do something. If you are watching this from overseas, your contributions will be highly, highly appreciated if you are African. If you are African. And you want to contribute to this dream we're going to open bank accounts we're going to register everything is going to be it's going to be legal and everything nobody's gonna steal your money there's going to be accountants going to audit everything everything will be transparent to everyone who has donated not not to a public who want to scrutinize and tell us what to do and what not to do and they have done nothing to change the, the, the this coming generation's life i'm gonna stop there. I'm going to stop there. I'll do a part two. 
I love my African brothers and sisters, and I love the coming generation. And I don't want to be that generation that just lived and did nothing and died. And you don't want to be that generation also. Think about it, pray about it, prepare about it, meditate on it until you discuss this thing in depth. In the meanwhile, send that email. Send that email. Send that email. You, this, this, this dream is not for me only. I know some of you, you've had this dream in your heart and you had this thought. You didn't know where to begin. Here is the beginning. Here is the start of that dream. Let's unite Africans. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And after you pray, stand up African child so that you can do your best and God will do the rest. Peace in Pan-Africanism. I salute you.